There's some major projects happening across Tulsa right now. A new one that would build a low water dam south of Jenks just got the green light to move forward. Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum joins us this morning to talk about all the exciting things going on in the city. And there's a lot to talk about. Thanks for being here, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. So the big story last week, one of, was the agreement that was signed between the city of Tulsa, Jinx, and the Muskogee Nation to build a dam on the Arkansas River south of Jinx. Talk to us about this collaboration when actually cities and the tribes come together. It, it's really historic. I mean, you have to think about this in context. This is something that people in Tulsa have been talking about building since the mid 1960s uh, and thanks to this really historic agreement that we've worked out between our three governments we're going to be able to move forward on it and build a lake in south tulsa and jinx all within uh, the muskogee creek nation reservation it, it is i'm excited about it one because that lake it'll be about three miles long running from roughly 101st street to 71st street be about eight to 10 feet in depth on average. It's gonna create recreational opportunities that have never been possible in that part of the city, but also tremendous economic development opportunities. And probably the thing I love most about it is that we all work together. Uh, that, you know, there, there's been a whole lot, I think over the last several years about disagreements uh, between the state of Oklahoma and the tribes and to have this partnership between the city of Tulsa, the city of Jinx and the Muscogee Creek Nation, that's gonna do something that has a tremendous benefit for our whole region. That lake is going to be a symbol of that collaboration and what's possible when we work together. What's the timeline on that in terms of when construction will begin and possibly actually see activity there? So the uh, the after we signed the funding agreement last week, now we can move forward on design and permitting. So you can imagine uh, doing anything in a river requires a lot of permitting from the federal and state governments. So that's already underway as of right now. Uh, and our hope is that this dam will be under construction, I believe, in 2026, 2027. Okay, we reported this week, Mayor, also work on that pedestrian bridge over the Arkansas River. We'll finish up this summer. People have been driving down Riverside. You can see it. Can you update us on that project and the latest on when we can see that transformation? complete. Well, that one is a lot more near-term gratification uh, because we started several years ago on it and it is on schedule to be completed later this year. And that lake, uh, very similar to the one I just talked about in South Tulsa, we picked these two as the first two to start with because you get the most lake and shoreline uh, because of the, the slope of the river channel in those two locations. So this new one will create a lake at roughly 29th Street up past downtown. This one will also be about eight to 10 feet deep. Uh, but as you mentioned, we are building a new pedestrian bridge uh, that is being built with people and cyclists in mind, and it will arc out over the lake that's being built, running from the gathering place over to the west bank of the river. So it won't just be running immediately over the dam. You'll get a great view and great experience on both sides. It'll also be more than twice as wide as the old one so that cyclists and pedestrians can enjoy it together. And this one is going to unlock recreational opportunities in that part of the city that, uh, you know, I, I, I love to think about how excited everybody gets for the raft race one day a year. Well, imagine what we're, what's what it's gonna be like when we can enjoy the Arkansas River and in this lake, uh, recreational opportunities throughout the year. Mm. The new Gilcrease Museum, we'll, we'll close with this in Mayor. Obviously, uh, we've reported earlier this week, $27 million over budget, some private funding coming in. So how do you deal with this inflation from a city perspective where you say, okay, our voters passed this budget for this project and now inflation and labor shortages? Yeah, the, this is, uh, it, inflation has really hit us as a city government on all of our capital improvement projects, not just Gilcrease Museum, but because of the scale of the project, obviously that that's a big number to swallow. And so uh, the, the good thing is that there are people all around the world who recognize the Gilcrease Museum as a one of a kind asset. I, I don't think most people in Tulsa appreciate that this is the greatest collection of American art and history west of the Mississippi. Uh, and so I think there, there are tremendous fundraising opportunities that we have 
largely not tapped to date that uh, we can utilize toward that. But also we've seen our sales tax revenue increase with inflation at a corresponding level. And my expectation would be that we would look to utilize some of that sales tax overage towards this project too, as we are in any number of other projects where inflation is hitting us on the expense side we can utilize some of that increase on the revenue to help us out too. Mr. Mayor, as always, we appreciate your time as you visit with us each month. We look forward to talking to you again. Thank you. It's 919. The pandemic changed a lot of things, including the way newlyweds travel. Still ahead, how it's impacted honeymoons and how much couples will spend while they're there.